Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about differentiation or differentiated instruction or differentiated learning, whatever you want to call it. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this week I'm going to be talking about differentiation and probably some of the misconceptions about differentiation. So the wonderful Caroline Tomlinson has done extensive research written dozens of books on differentiation and differentiated instruction and she shared this wonderful concept map with me which I think really reflects the complexity and the nuances of differentiation. So let me just move myself out of the way and um, share with you some of my thoughts about what I think is interesting about this concept map. So what I want to stress first of all is that differentiation is a teacher's proactive response to learners needs and it's shaped by mindset and it is not the same as individualized instruction. So we do not plan individual learning experiences or create an individualized learning plan for our students. That's not what differentiation is about. It's really about the teacher being proactive and thinking about how am I going to respond to my learners' needs and what they need to move in terms of their progress and achievement. Now, the principles I think most of us are quite uh, familiar with in terms of that it's an invitational learning environment. It's about quality curriculum. It's about assessment that informs teaching and learning, and that can be assessment of, it can be assessment as, it can be assessment for. And we also want to consider that instruction responds to the student's variance, the, the different diverse student learners that we have in front of us. And another guiding principle is that it's leading and managing a flexible classroom. So it's not creating a lesson plan and then following that lesson plan and disregarding the learners that are in front of you, but responding to the learners and changing your lesson plan, or maybe having an outline, which is what I encourage my student teachers to do, have a general outline of the learning experience, but what you actually do is dependent upon the student's responses and how they answer and understand the concepts that you're trying to cover. Now, teachers can differentiate through, you can see four different domains here. They can differentiate the content, the process, the product, and then the effect or the environment. And I think that's pretty universally adopted and not misunderstood, that that's the different ways that teachers can uh, differentiate. And this is based on the learner's readiness, interest, and learning preferences. And so it's such an important component to be able to consider the student's readiness, interest and learning processes when we are actually designing differentiated learning experiences that are either through content process product or the learning environment slash effect. Now, I really like the suggestions here of the different instructional strategies. I wonder if you can see them. I, it might be blocked out by the page number, but I will share this wonderful concept map anyway. I think this concept map really explains what differentiation is and the nuances and complexity. So you can see the different instructional strategies, varied learning materials, interest centers, uh, there's hyperdocs, menus, playlists, flexible time options, scaffolded reading, writing, looking at think tacto, a choice of learning activities, and etc. So for me, this concept map really helped me to see the complexity of differentiation and all the different perspectives. And sometimes it gets misinterpreted, I think, especially when we compare it to UDL or Universal Design for Learning. And I want to say thank you so much, Carol, for this wonderful uh, work that you're doing in terms of really trying to cater to all of our students' needs and providing this concept map that helps us to really unpack and understand differentiated instruction. Okay, so if you have any comments, please put it in the section below. I want to say thank you so much for joining me again this week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!